And hello, Shock fans. This is your beloved Soldier of the Inverted Cross, Rip the Full Blown Freak Show, aka the Gold Member, here for another Rip's Random Reviews. And today we're having a look at Star Wars The Black Series, Harrison Dula. Now, sadly, I missed out on getting, um, what's the, uh, Sabine. I missed out on getting Sabine, but I did get Ahsoka and her. Uh, I don't really care about getting Kanan. I mean, I might pick him up at some point, but I love these, like, Alien designs. I wanted the, you know, Sabine being a female Mandalorian would have loved to have him, had her. But, you know, I love the way this looks. The sculpt is really good. Uh, the paint on the ear thingies is actually really well done. Uh, her jumpsuit is nice. I like how these are floating pieces that you can adjust on her flight suit. Uh, my only, this is Jen Arso's gun I've got in her hand. Because this is the gun she comes with, and it's puny. I know it's probably accurate to the show. I can't remember. It's been a while since I've seen her on the show. But that just goes in right there very snugly. Uh, very, like I said, the face is very beautifully done. You know, they really did a good job sculpting this and making it look really good. I know Hasbro struggles. Had struggled with getting her female figures in this line looking pretty decent. But her and her face seems a little more expressive than Ahsoka's. Luckily, there's a little bit more smile on it. But both of their heads look great. Uh, as for scale, the only thing near me, sadly, is uh, the last night Lorger Megatron, and she's a, a bit shorter than him. But, I mean, I'm sure she's in scale with Black Series. I wouldn't see why she wouldn't be. Uh, the goggles, I wish they were a piece that could flip down. At one point, I think they were going to be, but now they're just a glued-on piece. Uh, I love these bandage looks up here on her head, her cap thing. Just everything looks good on her. The orange pops, the untied suit parts looks good. And as far as articulation, you would think like the Ahsoka one, the head wouldn't move much, but she can look left, right, up almost nothing due to this actually, more so, and down a bit. A little bit of head wiggle, but not enough to say anything. Arms can go up, and her shoulder pads are a soft material, so they don't get in the way. She can... You know, swivel all the way around. Decent elbow bend. Swivel. Wrist swivel. Uh, this hand hinges this way, and then this one hinges up and down. She's got a decent tilt in this, which you kind of have to pull on it. She can tilt back pretty decent with it. And tilt forward just a bit with it. Uh, legs, really good spread on. Uh, she can kick back just a little bit due to the like the skull back here getting in the way. Kick all the way forward. There is a thigh swivel in there. Double jointed knees, which these knees are a bit odd in the sense that you can see how the sculpt completely breaks this up. Like it looks like part of her legs broke off. So yeah, I would use that just like lightly. You don't want to break the sculpt too bad. Nothing here at the boot. No boot cut. Feet can go forward a pretty decent amount. They can go back pretty far. And then they can hit, they can tilt and rock a bit. Same on both feet. This foot can actually go back a little bit more just because I think this one's a little bit more loose on mine. So... Um... Is her uh, worth the pickup? If you're not into Rebels, I'm not sure. I have only watched a bit of Rebels, but I just love her design. I think she's what a Twilight. I, l I love this species in Star Wars. Uh, Ayla Secura is still like, one of my favorite Jedi. I hope she gets a Black Series figure eventually. But yeah, she is a very well done figure. Um, very well painted, very well sculpted. Just everything looks really nice on her. Um, again, you know, I don't always say Hasbro would not have the part, but just like with the silver up here on her goggles, they did a really good job on that. Um, she's definitely a great figure. I can't, you know, deny that. They've really, really impressed me with this one. So until next time, this has been your beloved Soldier of the Inverted Cross, Rip the Full Blown Freak Show, aka The Gold Member, signing off. Farewell.